Kai. We got into a bit of a scrap out there. First off, I'm a little shocked that you never pointed at the floor to see if it would happen. What do you think? I told you. If I even if I had the opportunity, he he would freaking he would shoot, and that's what happened. He did it before he did it before I could even point to the ground. And then you looked to try to do a lot of forward pressure. You were countering well, doing a lot of shot selection. How did you feel throughout that fight? I'm actually disappointed. I I made the fight closer than it had to be. I was seeing everything in there. He wasn't he wasn't in, <laughs> nothing special at all. I you know I broke him. I just I made it harder than it had to be. Uh, that's just, I, I have a tendency of doing that, like, when I'm up, I kind of lead him back into the fight, and I, I seen him, he was slowly breaking, and I kind of was letting him, trying to make it a scrap. That's, that's, that's something I gotta work on totally, freaking, that's on me. Uh, can you just recap the experience, obviously, first PFL fight, you know, the format, the tournament and everything, how was it for you? Oh, I mean, we see, that was just, that was the first fight, the season picks up from here. Um, it's who you know whoever can stay healthy whoever can have the strong mind and keep going but you know i don't really cut bad weight cut i don't have bad weight cuts i don't i'm not i'm i don't need too much time to rest i heal my body up good and i i i'm almost student in the game so i mean the tournament picks up now uh, quick aside, did the cage feel slippery in there? I know you had a slip. We heard from some other fighters tonight that it was a little tough to get your grip under there. That's the first thing that I was noticing when I got in, so I had to like wet the floor a little bit. But it did feel slippery when I got in. But I mean, every every cage you're gonna have that. You're gonna have that. Like uh, Aljo was saying that about the cage when we were training for this last fight. Um, the, all about the UFC canvas. I mean, this canvas. So. UFC, PFL, Bellator, the camp, I mean, canvas is slippery in general. And then finally, uh, the thing that's nice is, although you probably wanted to finish, the other featherweights so far also have gone to decision, so does that kind of take a little bit of that pressure off when you look at the standings? Well, I'm just trying to freaking win fights. You keep winning, you move on. I mean, the, the win, the wind and the, the finishes, yeah, that's, that's all for PFL, you know, the, but I got to make my money and I got I to gotta keep winning. Kai, right here. First of all, congratulations on the hard-fought win. I know you said you, you thought Bubba was breaking in there. Were you a bit surprised at how tough he was? Yeah, but I mean, if you, if if you fight, you could see you could see him wilt you know, as a competitor. Um, and I just didn't push the gas too much at the end. But I, I seen him break. I seen him break. I seen him leaning on his coaches, and I still had a pep in my step in the beginning of the round. I just I needed to empty the gas tank a little bit more. Just was being too lazy in that last wrestling exchange that kind of led him to just laying on me and you know, hoping, waiting for the time to end. But that that's on me. That's that's that was terrible. And then I know you're being a bit hard on yourself, but personally, I mean, I feel like this is the best you've ever looked in your career to really put together a well-rounded game. What's it like? Because I know you had your adversity in the UFC, some stuff didn't go your way, but trying to four or five minutes with me, what's it like to turn your career around like this? I mean, I better be. I'm freaking. I'm always in the gym. Uh, so I better be getting better. I better be racking them wins for us. I better find a different job because I'm always in the gym. I'm always doing what I gotta do. So the only other thing is you, you better be, I better be getting better or else I'm wasting my time at the gym. Of course, and then last question, obviously. I see your family in the back. I know Islanders stick together. What's it like having such a positive support system back home? Man, it's, it's awesome. Um, I know I was kind of teary-eyed um, this morning. My cousin Ray surprised me for my fight and then locking eyes with him uh, right before the fight started I mean just full circle I mean five years ago I was following him around this league from from all on the East Coast and then on the first welterweight versus featherweight car you know I wish we both could have been competing tonight but I think it was I think it was more a blessing that he wasn't because I think I would have been even more nervous but to see him to see him uh, today and then during the fight him giving me assurance, uh, he, he lit a little more of a fire under me, um, especially in between that second and third round. Seeing him st standing up and then, you know, locking eyes with him again, that death. Uh, he just he brings a different um, fire, you know, to 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 me. I mean, he was there in my UFC debut. He probably pulled me through to that one too. That just the turning points in my career. Um, I mean, if it wasn't for him doing so well in the PFL, I don't even think I'd be anywhere in my career. 
because after you know he he was doing well, he won the championship. That's when my career started to co come around because um, you know in during his, during his camps, I'm right there with him on on everything, and then seeing him win, kind of freaking, I knew I was doing everything right, and that that helped turn my career around. That just pushed me. That just gave me assurance that I was doing the right things. Hi. So. You just got into a scrap. Your hair looks perfect after. I'm wondering, <laughs> do you have any hair sponsors or anything? I don't, um, but I did have to gel my hair. That was the first thing I had to do right after I got out of the ring. They told me I was going to media. I was like, hold up, I need a bathroom. I got to fix my hair first. Okay, so you did. All right, and now with your team, after a fight, what do you and Coach Eric and your whole team do? Like, do you discuss the fight? Do you party? Do you celebrate? Do you spend time with the family? Well, I mean, we got to fight in 10 weeks. I'm sure we're gonna have a drink tonight, but um, we. Ex I. I. I mean, they all know. Like, I expect more out of myself. Out of the, I, I expected to finish. I seen everything in the ring, so I mean, yeah, we're gonna enjoy the win, but we expect to win, especially. Um, yeah, I expected to beat Bubba Jenkins. He he beat he beat my friend Lance Palmer, and I had to get that one back for him. You know, me and Lance, we probably had one of the last sessions before coming into. Coming into today, I think Thursday was our last session together, and he, he, you know, he was super pumped for me, and he gave me as much pointers as he could, and for Bubba to have all that success against Lance, and then him giving me one of my last training sessions, you know, just kind of gave me a lot more assurance too coming into today. And I mean, shoot, that wrestling, I, I mean, uh, like Bubba Jang is a national champion, but that wrestling, I've seen that, I've seen. In MMA, I've seen way better wrestling than that. I mean, sorry to say, he, he's a national champ, but I've seen way better wrestling than MMA. Awesome, thank you so much, man. Kai, it was well documented um, that on the other side was Dewey Cooper. Obviously, we know that Eric Nixon has a great relationship with Dewey. Was there any added uh, like notes in the corner in between rounds um, that he was able to give you in this fight? Who, Eric? Yeah, just because of how well he knows Dewey. Like, he, was there any like added, like, preparation that you guys were able to do knowing Dewey's tendencies or was was it business as usual everything normal? I mean business as usual but but fuck I don't give a fuck who's in the other corner like to, to be honest if you're in the other corner fuck yeah I don't give a fuck freaking I don't even care you I, I don't even care and that, that's the just, same answer I mean that's I mean yeah I mean I love coach Dewey he's that's and that's you know he's he's tight with coach Eric and coach Eddie but Tonight, I don't give a fuck. And on Wednesday when I asked you if you wanted to send a message to the rest of the uh, division, you kind of told me the same thing, that you really didn't care. Now, on social media, the buzz was that this was fight of the night. So I think even though you didn't care about sending a message, I think you did. So congratulations. Thank you. Freaking, I seen Ian Parker right before the fight. He, he, you know, he took Bubba by, he took Bubba by decision because my durability, blah, 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 but <laughs> shut the fuck up. He, uh, he, he did, Bubba was durable, but I seen him freaking, I mean, he broke in there.